Hi, everybody. I know we're not able to meet here at Calvary for youth events or for a number of events that we typically would be able to come to and spend some time with each other at. Um, so I wanted to make sure that during this time of self-isolation, um, we're still putting out some resources um, and some devotional materials for our kids to be using or for our families to be using. So lately with the, the self-isolation, um, I found myself and Molly and I have, have, have found that there are a number of people that we've been thinking about that we're really worried about, um, including like our grandparents we, who are in um, senior living facilities. And so we don't know how to get a hold of them. We can't visit them. And, you know, we're worried about how they are. There are a number of kids that we usually get to see here at school um, that we're not able to spend time with or, or have those conversations with to, to check in with them and see how they're doing. And um, with all of this worry about all of the different relationships that we have, um, you know, I'm finding that's very similar to a situation that the disciples found themselves in. In the book of John, chapter 16, you have Jesus, who knows he's about to be turned over to the Romans to be crucified and to be buried. And um, he comes to the disciples, and he, he doesn't really tell them exactly what's going to happen, but he tells them that he's going to be going away, and he explains to the disciples that they, too, are not going to be with him during this time. And not only will they not be with Jesus, but they won't even really be with each other. And in a way, they're going to have their own kind of self-isolation. So you have to imagine that Jesus gets arrested. It's not cool or okay to be known as a follower of Jesus at this time. So the disciples scatter, and they're alone. And they're worried about their friends. They're worried about their families. They're worried about anybody who they have any kind of relationship with. And also, they're worried about Jesus. What's going to happen to Jesus? And during this point, they're starting to worry about all of these people. And Jesus knows that they're going to be isolated and scared. And he sends them into this time of isolation with some encouragement. He says in John 16, uh, verse 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So this idea of, of taking heart, Jesus is saying, you're going to have trouble. And right now we're all experiencing trouble. But he's saying, take heart or be encouraged, be positive, knowing that all of these experiences that we're having right now that are, that are scary or difficult to deal with, they're temporary. Because Jesus has already overcome the world and any of the, the, the overwhelming difficulty within it. And he's also explaining that even in these times of trouble, when we do take heart and we do remember that God is still in control, that Jesus is still in control, even in these times, we can have times of peace. So I know there are many of us who are worried about our friends or our family that we're not with, but our encouragement from Jesus is to take heart and to remember that he is in control and that he has overcome the world. And when we lean on him, even in these times of trouble, we can still experience his peace. So during this time, when you are struggling, when you are worried, remember to lean on Jesus, to remember that he has overcome, and to take peace in that.